Hey everybody, it's Second 101 here. Welcome back with my Let's Play of Pokemon White for the Nintendo DS. After much delay, uh, my main issue was that my emulator was just not working. I must have downloaded the same, that, that D, uh, DSUME uh, emulator for the DS, like, multiple times, and it just, it just wasn't working. Um, so what happened was, uh, I got another one, a fan of mine sent me another, I think it's the same guy who sent me the first emulator, uh, over the one, he sent me like an updated version, and, uh, that version I also had to tweak a little bit using some settings I found on the internet and everything, some, somebody was telling me they had a similar problem, so, um, basically, here's the final product. The sound is still not that great, the sound still buffers at times, but as you can see, give me a second here, as you can see, I can at least move around without it being too buffery, I should say. I mean, before it was really bad. Like, before I would take two steps and it would freeze, two steps and it would freeze. It would make, and, and don't even get me started when I go into the battles with Pokemon. Oh my god, it was, it just basically made the game unplayable because I would not be able to grind, uh, get levels, because in a game like Pokemon, you need to be able to grind and get levels like I did in Emerald. I wasted like an hour, two hours just, you know, leveling up. There's no way I would be able to do that under those conditions, so... It's not the perfect thing I wanted, but it's it's decent. It's good enough that I can actually record some footage. So, uh, last episode, which was a while ago, uh, what did we do? Okay, well, we uh, started off on our adventure in the Unival region. We caught ourselves a lily pup, and which I kind of beat to hell because we fought a little bit since then, and I got my Excalibur up to level 7. Uh, in Excalibur, we learned... Uh, we learned... Fine Whip! at level 7. So we have Vine Whip now. Uh, I was trying to get Lily Pup up to level, uh, uh, up, at least up to level 4, but uh, I didn't get that far. He is actually holding something, and I do not know what. What are you holding? No, I don't want to take. I, want to, I don't want to give. I want to take. Item. What is that? Receive the... Oh my god, he was carrying a potion? That is... That, that's freaking crazy. Okay, so my, what, my Lily Pup was just randomly walking around Unovo with, you know, a potion in his main fur collar? I don't know. Maybe it was like his past owner. Yes, I will use that. I'm going to use it on Lillipup, so to get him up back up to the regular, so yeah. I used my last potion. Oh, that's nice. It, it tells you I used my last potion. That's nice. Alright, well, I was going to continue the game for a little bit there, but uh, maybe we can at least get Lily, uh, Lillipup up to level 4 before we continue. So yeah, going into the battle screen here, so... As you can see, the battle screen is at least a little bit more fluent than what it was. Uh, certainly a lot better. The battle screen was even more worse than just walking around. So at least I can maybe do some stuff with here. And like I said, the sound... I mean, I'm going to be talking over it anyway. I'm going to be giving the commentary. So you're not going to be able to hear the sound that well ordinarily anyway. But uh, just, th just the fact that I can have fluent motion is just... That's fine with me. Oh my god, this Patch Rat knows... This Patch Rat's boss, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this thing out. All right, uh, you know what? I'm not taking a chance because, you know, I, I, I lucked out with that potion that I didn't even know we had. <laughs> I guess the po- the, um, I even forgot the, uh, the, uh, the start town of this generation already, but I guess the random Pokemon running around this town, I guess people take care of them because they hand them freaking, uh, potions and whatnot, and this Pat Rat is really annoying me. Kill the Pat Rat. I whipped it. Whipped it good. All right, Lily Pup. Lily Pup grew to level four. There we go. Did we learn anything? We did not learn anything, but at least Lillipop got up in level. Okay, so uh, that's that. Let me just continue on our little journey there. I just wanted to get... Oh, okay, we're going to go into another battle. All right, whatever. Don't care. Lillipop, go! Uh, ironically, when I use the speed-up function, that's when it freezes more. Still buffering out the kinks, but whatever. Uh, tackle. Tackle attack. And use retreat attack. Use coward attack. I really should be doing more right now. Actually, I was not supposed to do this. I was really going to go do something else, but I figured, and I, if I have a chance to gain in levels, I'll gain in levels. Ooh, crit. These pat rats. Maybe I should have caught one of these things. I mean, it looks kind of, you know, uncreative and kind of weird, honestly, but damn, these suckers know how to get it done. Holy shit, look at that. I'm going to die here, aren't I? Can I, get a, can I run? Okay, I just ran. I, I took the coward's way out. All right, whatever. We're done. We're done. Hopefully, there'll be a Pokemon Center up in the near future. All right, let's, uh, let's get started. Oh, God, it's Charon. Oh god, it's be oh great. Okay, actually no, I would prefer the random battle with the Pat Rat to the uh, conversation I would inevitably have with Bianca and freaking Sharon. These Pat Rats, I mean, I know they look rabid just to look like that, but really, man, they, these these things are boss. All right, so um, can I just walk around, you guys? You know, I'm just gonna walk around, you guys. You you can go and do whatever you want. Oh crap! 
Feels like her own magnetic pole. How about it, Matthias? Do you want to compare which one of us has the most Pokemon with them? Ha, huh, no. I want to continue my adventure. Hmm, I'll be waiting. Oh, screw you. Screw you. What do you... What do you have to say anything, dude? Wait, you're not gonna... You're not gonna talk to me? What? You don't care? Matthias, are you gonna go with compare yourself with Bianca? Both Bianca and I have two Pokemon with us. Wow, you know, that's just a freaking coincidence. Okay, fine. I'll compare my Pokemon with you or whatever... Oh, I really hope that end dude is a better rival than these two because I'm really annoyed with them so far. <laughs> How many have you caught? Oh, off to whatever, X Transceiver's ring. Yeah, I mean, look, again, I'm not complaining about the tutorials because, you know, in every Pokemon game, like going back as Gen 1, you know, it's just like, Professor shows up, oh, here's your Pokemon, this is what a Pokemon is, you know, don't go in the tall grass, uh, there's always a tutorial on how to catch a Pokemon. So I'm not complaining about that, just this generation specifically just seems to be more hammering in the tutorials than everything else. I just I just don't know why that is. You know, the other ones were very basic, you know, like, here's a Pokemon, don't go in the grass, here's how to catch one, here's some balls, have fun. You know, it's just, it's very basic. This one is just really hammering it in here. Accumula Town. I mean, oh god, please tell me this. Oh, we're not gonna have a tutorial on how to use a freaking Pokemon Center. Guys, really? Ah, oh, Matthias, there you are. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. I literally just walked, like, 30 yards down the road, dude. Dudette. I should say dudette. Please follow me. I'll show you, like, the most important place a trainer should know. God! It's a Pokemon Center! They could not make these things more simple. You literally just walk in, talk to the nice lady, and say, Hi! She'll say, hello, thank you for choosing our Pokemon Center. It's like, oh, cool. Hey, do you want to heal your Pokemon? Yeah, I think I would want to do that. Or you say no, and you walk away. Oh, man. That's ridiculous. This is this is ridiculous. Here, Matthews, give it a try. Duh, I don't know. I don't know if I could do it, Professor. I, I gotta leave. I'm too nervous. Hey, Matthews, where are you off to? Oh, I didn't know. I'm such an idiot. I don't know how to talk to the lady. Oh, oh, d -d 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 Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Oh, she's talking to me. I don't know what to do. Oh, she stole my Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. It actually has an animation of you taking them out of your bag in this one. That's kind of neat. So yeah, like, I mean, I, I think the tutorial in like gold and silver was literally, I think it was optional actually, but I think it was just, you go to the uh, Old Dale Town, or no, Cherry Grove City. That was it, Cherry Grove City. And there was an old man there, and you just like, hey, do you want to go for a tour of the town? And he's like, hey, that's the Pokemon Center. That's where you heal your Pokemon. Hey, that's the Pokemon. That's where you buy your shit. Hey, this is a route. This is what you walk on. Hey, this is my house. Have a free town map. Good luck. Have fun. You know, just very basic shit. And, uh, and now we have to do a tutorial on how to learn the PC. Great. That's just, that's just amazing. That's just, I don't know how to use a computer. Here's something else that's cool. If you select my PC, I'll evaluate the progress. I mean, Professor, I would be more interested in you explaining the mechanics of teleportation technology in the universe. That would be much more interesting to me than just having to use a computer. Professor, it says someone's PC on the screen. Who is someone? I, sh I should give her a, uh, Bianca sounds like a uh, very, like a valley girl type thing. Like, oh my god, I can't believe you're going with Jared to the prom. Something like that. Very good, Bianca. That's a great observation. Good question. I'd like to say more, but just for now, just ignore that and go ahead and use the PC. Someone is the person who made the storage system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Oh god, yeah, because, you know, that's, that, that, that'll bring down the whole mechanics of this game. If I knew who Bill was back in Generation 1 before Bill made his introduction, I would just, I, the game would have been unwinnable. It would have just been like, I, I can't play this. It's just It just ruins my fun now. Now, this is the Pokemart. This is the place to buy useful items. Okay, so one interesting thing they did in this generation is they actually merged the Pokemon with the Pokemon Center, which, I mean, it's convenient. I'll give you that. And it's certainly something that I'll, you know, take advantage of. It's just, I mean, I'm never really, I'm not going to freak out over it because it's never been something I've really went, you know, really crazy over. Like, oh, I really wish, yeah, I, I love those Pokemon games, but one thing I always hated was having to go to the Mart in the center for different buildings. Like, never really found a problem with that. So, it's it's convenient. It's a, it's a nice little twist here. And I guess it would make sense that they, you know, would merge all the buildings that have, you know, Pokemon-related items to them. So, that's, that's interesting. Potions and Pokeballs are definitely important. Uh, thinking... Okay, that's great. I'm gonna buy uh, some potions, I think, because those are always handy to have. Potion and Pokeball. You gotta love your diverse selection. Okay, potion, and I want five. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, medicine case. I think I'll take one Pokeball for that one I used to catch Lillipup. Uh, no, I don't want to cancel. There you go.
All right, well, that's, uh, that's about all I need, so... We done now? We done with the tutorials? Because honestly, I think my, my my sarcasm alarm is going like crazy over here. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Ah, crap! Well, let's have a little look-see. Okay, you know what? I have been kind of bashing this game. You know, I have heard this is the first one to actually have a plot or something resembling a plot, other than just, you know, go and become the master like no one ever was. So I guess I should give it a little bit of leniency. Just the tutorials are just making me a little angry. Ah, <sighs> Matthias, come here a sec. Okay, that's kind of cool. They got like little night squire pages things that's kind of neat okay who's this dude my name is Gettys. i am here representing team plasma today ladies and gentlemen i would like to talk to you about pokemon liberation huh what his hair is funny let's listen in i'm sure most of you believe that we humans and pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want to need each other well actually that's what the lady with the weird hair said back at the beginning of the game but you know i'm, I'm just following orders here man i don't know what's going on However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? I'm assuming that he used the word assume very, like, like uh, snily, like whiplashly, like, like uh, assume that this is the truth. Does he have, like, one... Does he have, like, the Sharingan? One of his eyes is, like, red. Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I got busted for bringing my Krabby into the office. I mean, that stuff is just... He gets water everywhere. Pretty convenient when I want to when I want uh, you know some water, some bubbly carbonated water, but whatever. Can anyone see with confidence that there's no truth in what I'm saying? Yikes! Oh, who says yikes? I want the guy that said yikes. Cause that no one says that. Yikes! Some guy you know, Itachi Uchiha is talking to us right now, and he dyed his hair. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from which we humans have much to learn. Tell me about what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon. All right, so essentially, this guy is kind of like uh, PETA, except for Pokemon, which I guess people for the ethical treatment of uh, Pokemon, or PEP, as I call it. Um, you know, I, I understand this. I understand where they're going with this, and I can get what like the plot of the game like our pokemon I mean, we always like they're our servants essentially we capture them and we force them to fight for us and i guess this is the first game to really realize is this like an ethical thing for people in the universe my one problem with this is it could be a very good plot except for the fact that it's not like it's like it's not like i have my snivy on a chain and i'm forcing him to fight for me i mean that snivy is like perfectly free to turn around and like vine whip my ass whenever it wants to it's the fact that it's not meaning that it wants to be with me or that uh, Pokemon are at least subservient enough they actually want, they can be domesticated. Well, at least all Pokemon can be domesticated. I mean, that's like if you go out in the wild and you try to tame a wolf. You know, the wolf's probably going to jump on your ass and rip out your jugular and you'll be dead before you freaking hit the ground. So, very hard to domesticate that kind of animal. Now, on the other hand, if you were to find, I don't know, a dog, you know, just like a, like a stray dog in your town or something, yeah, it's, it's potential for it to, like, rip your jugular vein out if it's angry or scared. But at the same time, you can, you know, tame it. You can domesticate it. So, and once you do domesticate it, it kind of becomes your friend and you can fight with it. So that's how I always viewed Pokemon. I never viewed Pokemon as... You know, you get in my ball and do what I say or I'm going to throw you into a river or something like that. So, yeah. Liberate Pokemon! That's not even possible! Yeah, we could just let them free because whatever, they're... Whatever, I don't... I, I, I'm going to stop complaining, I don't know. Okay, who's this dude? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Your Pokemon, just now it was saying... How slow down, you talk too fast. Huh, <laughs> story of my life. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you can't hear it either. How very sad. I mean, it's on Getsu flashbacks now. My name is Anne. Oh, awesome! You're the cool one. Cool. My name is Sharon, and this is Matthias. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So... You're gonna confine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that, then. I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help but wondering, are Pokemon really happy that way? Once again, if they weren't happy with it, my Tyranitar, feel free to turn around and earthquake my ass. Well, Matthias, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. I love how he just completely ignores Sharon. He, like, immediately notices that Sharon is just a know-it-all freak, and he's just, you know what? I don't want you. You. You're not. You're the quiet one. Fight me. Perleon. Okay. Perleon, I did some research on these Pokemon. Perleon is a pure dark type. Uh, it evolves into, I forget what it's called. It's called Leopard. It's, some, it's a pun on the word Leopard. Uh, but I threw out Lillipop. Not a smart idea, but whatever. You need XP. So let's throw out some Leers and see if we can do it. I figured it would go first because, you know, it's higher level for speed. Okay, that's not bad. We might actually be able to deal with this. 
I don't know if Lily Pup will be able to, you know, fight this thing off, but we might be able to get a couple of attacks of opportunity off of it. So this guy is named N, who I hear is the actual true uh, rival in this game, and he's also the one who we saw in the uh, opening cinematic of the game, the guy with the uh, the crown, who got the crown on his head, which I believe Geddes was also the other dude, the guy with the Sharing Gun. So my question is, though, in that flashback, didn't we see that N had, like, three or four other Pokemon surrounding him? Um, I mean, maybe he traded them in, maybe he's undercover right now, that would ex explain a lot, like he's royalty undercover, that would make sense, given the fact he's obviously not dressed in the uh, manner of a king at the moment, or a prince, or whatever the hell he was, duke, I don't know, earl, whatever he could, earl N, that'd be funny, I'm, I'm the earl of this town, my name is N, he's taking uh, death note lessons of one letter being your word, of course we don't find this weird, you know, my name's Charon, my name's Matthias, my name is N, oh that's a cool one letter word you got there, bra. There we go, that's how we take care of the cat. <laughs> I guess you could say the cat's out of the bag. Freaking knee slapper that is. Uh, I'm gonna stop, I was watching, um, sorry, I was watching uh, older episodes of Digimon all day, so I have really, really bad freaking puns stuck in my head. Ooh, I drew Lil, oh, holy crap, I gained, I gained like two levels, damn. Lily Pup, you kick ass, I got an Odor Sleuth. Not a great move. Um, but uh, pretty neat. Odor Sleuth, I believe that's an ability where you can use it on a Ghost-type Pokemon and your normal attacks can hit Ghost-type Pokemon. I think it's the same as like Foresight. So, you know, I don't know much about this generation. Uh, the first Pokemon gym, for all we know, could be a Ghost Gym. I don't freaking know what it is. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never have a chance to be free. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. That's why I have a Pokemon captive in my Pokeball to do my bidding. Huh, strange guy. <laughs> Um, it's not the weirdest thing we just saw. We just saw a bunch of Allegiance of Knights basically pass out pamphlets. But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the Gym Leader in the next town. Stratyon City. Aim to battle Gym Leader after Gym Leader. That's the best way for a trainer to become stronger, is to challenge the Gym Leaders in each area. The other way is to build a bunch of C-Form and Semtex grenades and charge the Pokemon League and demand that you become the champion. But no one ever seems to think about that. It's a very difficult time in this terrorist-driven war of ours. Okay, so that's uh, Cumula Town. I'm assuming there's really nothing else to do here. So, yeah, I guess I'll just head on out to that Stradion City place. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my Let's Play. Um, like I said, everything should be running fairly smooth. Like, at least it's not buffering as bad as it was anymore. So, yeah, guys, uh, post your comments below what you think. I'm um, doing pretty good. There was something else I wanted to say. I forget. Oh, yeah, Team Plasma. I don't really know much about Team Plasma, but they kind of resemble sort of like Jehovah's Witnesses to me. Like, not the same as like Team Rocket and Aqua and Magma. They were kind of in the shadows and just kind of, you know, did their dastardly deeds, you know, on a hinge. But these guys seem like passing out pamphlets and be like, you know, okay, here's the Pokemon against, you know, the people for their ethical treatment of Pokemon, you know, just, you know, drop by our toll-free numbers, 1-800-555-3627, you know, call us at office hours, and, uh, yeah, hope to join, hope to join, sign up to your friends, and you get a free Apple, I don't, I don't freaking know, get a, get a free Joltik, okay, so everyone, thanks for watching, Techie101, signing out, see you guys.